Hello and welcome to section 3, Designing the Forest Trails Application. In this section, we will look in detail at the design of the application which we will implement throughout this volume. Before we can start writing code, we need to understand what the application needs to do. To achieve this, we will start with an overview of the application itself, followed by a detailed design of the application's structure. In this first video in the section, we will introduce the Forest Trails application itself. We will look at the business use case for the Forest Trails system, see how the application will appear to the user, and examine the various features which we will need to implement. Imagine that you work for a company responsible for developing and maintaining a large recreational forest. People use the various access roads and purpose-built trails for a range of recreational activities, including running and walking, mountain biking, and horse riding. Your task is to create a program which lets the user create a database of access roads and trails to assist with the ongoing maintenance of the forest. Now, to keep things simple, we're going to use the term track to refer to either an access road or a trail. Each track is going to have a type. This indicates whether the track is a walking track, a mountain bike track, a horse track, or an access road. A name. Not every track has a name, but for those that do, we need to remember it. A direction. Some trails and access roads are bi-directional, while others can only be used one way. And finally, a status. This indicates whether the track is currently open or closed. Our application will consist of a window which displays a map canvas along with a toolbar that lets the user perform various actions. The map canvas will display the database of tracks on top of a nice looking base map. This map canvas is the heart of our application, allowing users to view and work with tracks. Because the forest is continually being developed, new tracks are being regularly added Existing tracks are being modified, and some tracks are even being removed if they're no longer needed. Because of this, we can't hardwire the set of tracks into our program. Instead, we need to store the tracks in a database and implement a track editing mode where the user can add, edit, and delete tracks. The user will also be able to get information about a track and change details such as the track's name, type, and so on. Finally, a specific requirement you've been asked to implement is the ability for the user to choose a start and ending point and have the computer calculate the shortest path between those two points following open tracks in the correct direction. In this video, we looked at the business requirements for the Forest Trails system and saw how these various requirements can be implemented as features within a standalone PyQGIS based application. Now that we have an overview of the application and an idea of what it needs to do, 